Hello and welcome back to Matt Hayes Tottenham blog and to another episode of Transfer Talk. Today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Christoph Piatek, the latest player that has been linked to Tottenham in this transfer window. So before I get into the video, if you do want more transfer content like this, plus live streams, match previews, reviews and breaking news videos, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and click that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload. Um, so to dive straight into the things, I'm sure we've all heard the name Christoph Piatek by now. Um, he's a striker for AC Milan who's been linked with a number of clubs throughout this transfer window as he has seemingly been, been replaced at the Italian club by Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now, there's been quite a few reports over the last week or so linking us to the, to the player, but yesterday the Guardian's David Heitner came out and said that uh, Tottenham are actually interested in the player and a move is, it's, it's not likely, but it is possible this window. Now, personally, I don't know much about Heitner as a journalist, um, but from, from what I've seen, the response on Twitter and Facebook has been really good and a lot of people seem to really respect him as a journalist and there's a few different uh, Spurs fan pages and stuff that I've seen rate him as um, a tier one or grade A journalist when it comes to Tottenham. So um, I do think this is something that we do have to take uh, quite realistically. Um, now Piatek at the moment is being valued at about £30 million by AC Milan um, and uh, Heitner again goes on to say that Tottenham are keen to sign a striker after the injury, uh, injury suffered by Harry Kane in that game against Middlesbrough. Now according to Transfermarkt.com Piatek's current market value is about £28.8 million so I mean £30 million for a player uh, if that's what AC Milan are kind of starting their negotiations at uh, there's potential for a really really good deal there. Um, now Milan are also prepared to sell because, as I said, it does look as though he's been replaced by Zlatan Ibrahimovic and uh, they just want to get back uh, preferably all but most of that £30 million they paid for Piatek in January uh, when he signed from Genoa. Now, I know Piatek is a player that not a lot of people uh, will have heard of and I'm just going to run through quickly kind of a brief background of the player and his style of play and why I personally think he would be a good player for Tottenham to sign. Now, he, he is a 24-year-old Polish striker who plays, of course, at the moment with AC Milan. His form this season has been quite poor. It's dipped quite a bit from what he's been, uh, kind of the numbers he's been hitting throughout his career. He scored only four goals in 18 appearances this season. Um, now, on the international scale, he has actually made 10 appearances for Poland and he scored five goals for them, which is a pretty decent return. But I think his, his club record is a lot more impressive. He's played 213 times, um, scoring 84 goals and getting six, 16 assists. Now his best his best period undoubtedly came when he played with Genoa. He was actually only there for six months. He signed for them in the summer of 2018, and he moved on to AC Milan uh, January of last year. So he was only six months there, but in all competitions he scored 19 goals in just 21 games, which is an absolutely outstanding return. And there's there's no surprise there that Milan AC Milan went straight in there and brought uh, bought him in for 30 million pounds last January. Uh, he has, as I said, really struggled to hit form with AC Milan, but his track record. Is absolutely outstanding. He's played with, I think, two Polish teams and two uh, Italian teams. But you know, making that step from the Polish league to the Italian league, uh, it's I know the Italian league isn't the best quality uh, league in Europe, but it's still a big step up from Poland. And to go straight in there and score almost a goal a game when he signed with Genoa, um, it's it's certainly really impressive. And there's it's no surprise that there are a number of European teams actually looking at him. Now, as for the the other teams that are apparently interested, um, I know Chelsea and Manchester United were among his suitors when uh, he actually joined AC Milan last January. But at the moment, the only two realistic sort of uh, links with him at the moment are Tottenham and Aston Villa. So I'd imagine if it is between the two of them, both in terms of finances and uh, a team that would attract the player, I think Tottenham probably have the upper hand on Aston Villa with that one. Um, now, quickly looking into his uh, style of play and what he can actually bring to the team, I've looked at two websites, whoscored.com and totalfootballanalysis.com, and they both seem to say the same thing about him. And it is, uh, he is a natural goal scorer. Uh, who scored, say, his, his strongest strength is his, his finishing. And I think that's proven by his record, mainly at Genoa, but even overall, I mean, 84 goals in 213 games. It is a, a really, really good return. And again, he's only 24 years old. So he is only going to get better uh, coming into the prime of his career in the next couple of years. Um, who scored did say his only weakness is passing and 16 assists as a striker in his career. It's it's not the best return, but if, if he is scoring that many goals, you wouldn't be too concerned about how much he's setting up. Um, and again, like when he is coming into Tottenham, he is going to improve as a player. And that is something that I'm sure would be um, addressed by Jose Mourinho if he does, co does come in and something that could be improved. Uh, now, total football analysis went a bit more in-depth. Uh, into what they think of him as a player, uh, really uh, focusing on his time at Genoa, where, you know, he, of course he was at his best. Um, he's really good in a front two, which I suppose isn't, isn't something that would be particularly relevant if he does join Tottenham, but 
Um, everything else that they listed out uh, bodes really well for a potential move to Spurs. Uh, he can also play as a false nine, which I suppose there isn't really a false nine in Tottenham's uh, formation at the moment. I think the closest there is to that in the Premier League would be Roberto Firmino at Liverpool, who for me is, is the best in the world in that position. But it, it would be kind of similar to what Deli Alli does for us when, you know, kind of sitting behind the striker, making those late runs if required, but also dropping deep and kind of uh, conducting the play from back there. So that is something that Piatek can do. Um, they also say, as who scored did, he's a natural finisher, uh, natural goal scorer. And, you know, there's, there's no, you don't really need to list out the pros and cons of that. It's, it's pretty straightforward. He, he does score goals. Um, now, they said his, his movement is very intelligent as well, which I think the, the uh, strengths that he does have kind of show he could be a really good player with Deli Ali, but he could also replace Deli Ali, not if Deli Ali leaves, but if there is rotation needed in the squad, he can play in front of Ali or instead of Ali. Now his movement is very intelligent and this is something I think would would work in both regards if he does play up front when Kane is out injured or if he does replace Ali because with the, the kind of link up between Kane and Ali, we haven't really seen it as much in recent times but we know it is there with their, their movement, you know, Kane uh, kind of taking the focus of the, the central defenders and Ali making those late runs into the box. It was so effective uh, in Pochettino's first couple of years at the club and Piatek could, could work really well in either one of those roles. Um, there's a few... Uh, sort of still images from certain uh, plays on uh, the total football analysis. I'll actually link that down in the description if you want to go and have a look at it, which just shows his his quick thinking and his intelligence when it does come to moving, and not only in terms of creating opportunities for himself, but also in the, like making decoy runs to create opportunities for his teammates. Which you know both of them are outstanding qualities to have, and it's something that we could really do with at the moment when we have. You know, kind of the main uh, problem we've had is a lack of movement up front, a lack of fluidity among the, the front players, and he's someone who could really change that. And, you know, even if it's, even if we're not going to look at the, the really fine details of his play, we do need a striker right now. Uh, Kane is out injured. There are rumours it is a grade three tear in his hamstring, which could be anything from two to three months, which is really, really concerning. He'll miss the Champions League uh, round of 16, of course, and potentially the quarterfinal if we get there. And we do need someone. But another thing that Piatek is good at is his link-up play. And this is something that really, really excites me. If if we do get him in, and and just how well he will work with Harry Kane, because you know Kane, he's not the, you know we we know he does have really good passing, but typically when he gets the ball, he looks to score, and it's what you want from a striker. But if he had another natural goal scorer around him, which he doesn't really have in the team now, like you know Son maybe, uh, the closest there is to that, but he typically plays out wider. Um, but Piatek playing in behind him, or even playing beside Harry Kane, because you know this four two three one hasn't been working for us this season. We tried a 4-1-2-1-2 uh, before Pochettino was sacked and it wasn't working either. But if there are different formations that Mourinho does want to try, Piatek can work, as uh, they said, really well in a front two. Um, so that link up play with Harry Kane could really work. And if it is a case of Deli Alli uh, playing in a centre attacking midfield role and Piatek and Kane up front, there that really could cause uh, a lot of problems for a lot of defences there. Um, now they also say Piatek is good at dropping into midfield, which I think would typically be uh, a trade of his play if he does play in that false nine position. Um, yeah, he's good at uh, dropping back into midfield and orchestrating the pl uh, play from there as well. So look, from, from everything I've seen, I mean, I haven't watched too much of him uh, as a player. I know he is someone who was uh, thought of really highly over in Italy, despite this poor form uh, in the recent year or so. But from what I have seen of him, he does look a really good player. He's struggling at AC Milan, but to be honest, their whole team is really struggling at the moment. Um, but he is a signing that really, really excites me. As for the likelihood of it, I'm, I'm not too sure. As I said, I'm, I, I don't know much about David Heitner, but the, the general response to this seems to be uh, really positive and a lot of people are expecting something to come of this because it is this journalist who's reporting it. Um, but look, uh, as with Tottenham, you never know. Uh, never really know what's going to happen. Uh, it's, it, it, it really is a waiting game and I think if he is a player that we are going to get in, uh, the, the sooner it's done, the better because, you know, with Kane out injured and we have a... Of course, he obviously won't be playing against Liverpool on Saturday. But we have a hectic calendar coming up with playing Middlesbrough in the FA Cup replay and then hopefully playing Southampton in the next round of that. And obviously these different league games then moving into February having the Champions League. The quicker we can get a player into the, the starting eleven, whether it's Piatek or not, um, of course, the quicker he gets in, uh, the better it will be. Now, before I finish the video, just um, a quick update on the future of Juan Foyt. And his agent has been speaking in the last hour or so and he said that they are looking for a move away from Tottenham this January. Now, I don't know uh, if he specified whether it was a permanent move or a loan move, but um, he made it very clear that they are, uh, they are uh, exploring different options in this January transfer window and they are waiting for clarity from Tottenham on the situation in the next week or so. 
Um, personally, I can't imagine Mourinho would be too, uh, not too keen, but if he'd be too adamant to keep Foyt at the club because he hasn't used him uh, very much, if at all, yet. Um, and it would be disappointing because, you know, Foyt, he was a, a good signing when we got him in, an exciting one for the future. Um, he, he, he has impressed, but he's also disappointed when he has gone into the team. And he was kind of more a Pochettino signing than, you know, a, a signing that Mourinho would be more likely to utilise. But it'll be interesting to see where that one goes over the next week, as the agent has said they, they are looking for... Um, they're exploring their options in this January transfer window. Uh, and that is all for this video today. Um, don't forget to leave down in the comments below your opinions on Christoph Piatek and a potential move for him to Tottenham Hotspur. Um, or if you think we should be looking at other striking options or maybe even focusing on different positions. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.